Hey guys, what's going on? It's me Jalus again and we're back again for another tutorial. So we're gonna be doing today a car composite. So we just need two things from this one, the car image and the background image. And I've also put the links of these images in the description down below if you want to try this car composite. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so first let's drag our background image followed by our car image. And now let's just rename this to car background and just simply car for the other one. And now create a selection to your car by using a pencil. Right click make selection and click OK. And now create a layer mask by clicking this icon. Okay, and just reposition your car to your preference. Now click your layer, rasterize layer. And then go to image, adjustments, and go to match color. Now your source here is going to be the name of your file, which is in this case, it's called car composite. For the layer, it's gonna be your background which in this case is called car background. And see how the car blends in with the background colors. And you can also adjust the luminance and color intensity to your preference. And if you're satisfied with it, just click OK. OK, now click your layer mask. And using a brush tool with a soft round brush and make your flow to about 10%. Okay, now let's use a white foreground, so just press X in order to change the foreground to white. And now let's bring back some shadows from the original image. Okay, so now click your background, right click, and rasterize layer now use a clone stamp tool okay so just click here to sample a part of the background so let's use some here to remove the light reflections in the road since it's probably already covered by the car so just click to sample some dark areas in the road and just use it to paint the light reflections in the road and just keep doing this until you remove all the light reflections you want to be removed Okay, if you're done, go to your background layer, create an adjustment layer, and U or saturation. Now create a clipping mask to affect the background only, and decrease the lightness all the way to negative 100. Now press Ctrl I to invert the layer mask, and use a brush, a soft round brush, and with a flow 10%, and make sure it's a white foreground. And just paint in some shadows. Okay, so if you want to remove some shadows, just press X to invert the colors and make the foreground color to black and just erase some shadows you want to be removed. And this is the before and this is the after. Now let's just rename this one to shadows. Okay, now we move on to putting some highlights to the car. Just click the car layer and go to adjustment layer and choose your saturation. Now create a clipping mask to affect only the car and check colorize. So we want to put some blue highlights to this one for the light source which is blue. Let's just drag the saturation to the right side and also the lightness. And now just press Ctrl I to invert the layer mask. Okay, with a brush tool and a white foreground, let's paint in some highlights for the reflection coming from the light source in the background. And now let's just put some orange highlights for the reflection coming from the traffic light. And let's add another adjustment layer again, your saturation, create clipping mask, colorize, 
and just drag the slider to the orange value. So press Ctrl I to invert the layer mask and just paint in some highlights. Okay, and now let's put some lights to the headlights and the tail light. Okay, so create another adjustment layer and now choose brightness. Create a clipping mask and max the brightness to 150. Press Ctrl I to invert the layer mask and paint in some lights. And let's put some light blue color to the headlights. So create an adjustment layer again, U or saturation, create a clipping mask and colorize. And just choose your color. Now press Ctrl I to invert the layer mask and add some blue lights. And just don't forget when in a layer mask, white foreground to paint and black foreground to erase. And let's do the same thing for the tail light, but this time let's choose a red orange color. Okay, so maybe this time let's release the clipping mask. So right click on the adjustment layer, release clipping mask to give it some glow. Okay, so let's give this one more glow. So go to adjustment layer, choose brightness, max the brightness to 150 and don't create a clipping mask. Press Ctrl I again to invert the layer mask. And let's just add more glow effect to the headlights and the tail light. And now it's time to put some light reflections on the road. So you can adjust the angle of the brush by just dragging these buttons. And let's just paint it again some light reflections. And you could always go back to your adjustment layers if you want to add more brightness. And let's add some smoke effect to this one. So add a new layer, choose a brush tool with a white foreground and a soft round brush. Now adjust your flow to about 4% and just softly add some smoke effect to the overall image. And I think we forgot something, a light reflection on the road from the taillight. So let's head over to our background layer, create an adjustment layer, U or saturation, create clipping mask, check colorize, and let's use a red orange for the light reflection. And just press Ctrl I again to invert the layer mask and paint in some light reflections. Okay, so I think we need to add some dust particles around the headlights and the taillights. So I have my starry image for this one, so I'm just gonna use it. So just click your uppermost layer and just drag on your star image. And now change the blending mode from normal to screen. And now create a layer mask and press Ctrl I to invert the layer mask and use a brush tool again and just paint back some stars which is gonna be our dust particles. And then just duplicate it and do the same thing for our tail light. And maybe let's remove this part here from our car image because it's not looking like shadows. So let's go back to our car layer, layer mask, and choose a brush tool and with a black foreground, just erase this one. And now it looks better. And for the final touch, let's add some camera row filter. And we're finally done with our car composite. So I hope you've learned something from this tutorial. And if you do, hit that like button and notification bell. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you on my next video.